It's another day of Big Pats Under the Hood. Day I'm out here working in the garage. So, uh, going to spray some, uh, a mixture of oil and diesel on the frame of my, uh, C10 so that I can start to loosen up the, uh, grease and grime up under it so I could paint it up like I did the undercarriage of the uh, Monte Carlo here and undercoat and all that. Here's the uh, 454 motor that came out of the C10 there, but I have a whole nother block that I've already gotten the machine sharp and everything. And this is my latest uh, acquisition of parts that I bought for the other 454 set of uh, Hasting rings, and I bought some silver light 40,000s over pistons, a whole set. And could you believe it? I got a set of them forged with the Teflon coating, 40,000s over, true flat tops, no dish, no dish, flat tops. So there'll be it'll be nine and a half to one compression, which would be which would be good with 93 unleaded. And I had to worry about no detonation or anything like that. But a uh, fan and stuff I've painted up and all that stuff there to try to get the accessories all together. And headers, I put a couple of coats, coats on the headers. I got to go back and finish them up. That's a junk pan. It ain't going to do any good. And that's a chunk intake manifold. No good. But yeah, I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna spray this frame down. So that and these are all the parts that came for the truck, water pump, motor mounts, flywheel, AC hoses, everything. I just put everything here in the truck. It's easier to keep it all up in here and not and not have to uh, Worry about looking for it. You get ready to look for it. It's already there, ready to go. Transmission, transmission dust cover. I painted that already. Everything got it all painted up. It's ready to be installed. I'm gonna throw uh, some undercoating on it because of the fact that you hit rock, get rock chips and stuff like that. All that stuff there'll be out of the way. But as you can see. C10 is missing what? It's missing an engine. But that's all right. I'm going to get under here and get this frame all scraped. Get it all scraped down and everything and paint it. Ain't no cracks, nothing in it. That's good. I'm going to paint the firewall fire, fire up on the truck. Undercoat all that. Replace this uh, overflow canister because it's cracked. And just get all this stuff cleaned up. And uh, before I put the molding in it, I'll have it all scraped down and cleaned up and painted and everything and then i got i have the uh, bushings for the up and lower control arms the bow joints and all that as you can see this one here is bad that bushing is bad this one here is okay but i'm gonna replace all of them so i'll be through with all of the new shocks and all the stuff like that but i'll get all that done and get it all painted up and everything and then i'll set the, the motor and stuff in it and uh I'm gonna take the inner fender wells out, clean them up, paint them. I say I'll paint the firewall and everything. Get, get everything all up to snuff, and then when I uh, go have the body work done on it, paint it. I don't have nothing to do with just do that, and I'll, I'll do the wheel well houses and stuff like that myself. But this is just what I'm doing today. Got off, got back in town a little early. Got off a little early, so worked on my yard some and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't need to do anything to Bumblebee. I think I'm going to put some Borala mufflers, some Borla mufflers on there. On the Monte Carlo, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might try some of those new Cherry Bomb Turbo mufflers and put on there. And uh, since when Flowmaster lost their pet and everybody copied them, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try them out and see how they do. But uh, like I say, uh, always uh, comment, man. You're comments are welcome let me know if you 
working on something like what I'm doing. And if if you are, you know, uh, send me a comment. Let me know how far you all in your project. Yeah? Good place where you got parts at. I usually deal with uh, either Summit or locally I'll deal with Thunderbolt because they seem to have a lot of stuff that I'll be looking for. If I have to order something, then it's Summit or Jigs. But uh, thanks again for uh, tuning in. And let me know how you like the video. You know, have a great day.